What's going on guys, it's Birdman, and I wanna give you guys a quick recap of the Pittsburgh International Race Complex weekend with the F1000 and F2000 series. I ran both of them, and it was quite a blast. Learned a lot, big highs, big lows, but overall, what can you do? That's racing, so let's get into it. So qualifying one for the F1000, that was on Saturday, and in F1000 qualifying one, I ended up not really doing very well. I qualified p5 i actually ran out of fuel in the car we just had a little bit of an under fueling issue couldn't quite get up to speed usually i take my time and i build up my speed slowly and gradually but without as many laps as we were planning on doing or as i was planning on doing i couldn't quite get up to speed as fast as possible so i ended up qualifying p5 and i started the race it was actually a rain race or at least some of it was rain and we ended up going with the rain tires which was the right option a couple of my competitors, like Shane Prieto and Alex Mayer, ended up with slicks on, which did not um, favor them pretty, fairly well for a podium shot. But I was just sort of struggling on the rain tires. I couldn't quite get the braking down for the car. And I mean, those cars brake super efficiently, come high compression brake zones. So really just couldn't quite get very comfortable in the car. I also didn't really know the rain line very well for, for Pittsburgh for pit race and it was just really a tough race overall but learned a lot didn't feel like I learned a lot in the moment I was just like man I don't know the line I don't know where I should be breaking and all that but we ended up finishing I believe actually we didn't end up finishing the race at all so we actually ended up having an issue in the F1000 race we did start off fairly well I moved up to third in the beginning of the race had a pretty nice pass going to turn one and turn two but um, my experience with the rain tires pretty much fell flat after that i didn't really have that much experience in the first place but ended up having a engine block electricity issue one of the wires came loose and touched the engine block cut the electricity entirely and we ended up not being able to like we just like the car lost power going into turn 17 and it wasn't a fun time, had to get towed back in, brought out the caution, and yeah, wasn't the, the, the best race for F1000, wasn't the best qualifying, but we were looking to turn around, turn that around in race two, and we ended up doing that. But first, qualifying one for the F2000, that was very interesting because I also had an issue in qualifying where the fuel plugs of the car were completely burnt to a crisp, and it wasn't the best situation so i ended up not being able to qualify or finish qualifying in that car either couldn't quite get up to speed i qualified p4 so better than i did in f1000 but still not as good i was hope as i was hoping for i was hoping for a um top three quality but didn't get that result but race one for f1 f2000 yeah race one for f2000 i ended up starting p4 i believe i moved up to p3 off the bat and i sort of fell back to um sixth place because it was a rain race first of all and there were some variations in the tire selection some people wanted to go with slicks some people wanted to go with rain tires we ended up going with the slicks and i also ended up with only three out of my four engine cylinders working so that was a little bit of an issue unfortunately couldn't we didn't have the power for the low speed corners getting out of the corner all that torque that was necessary just wasn't there for the car and we're on slicks as well so off the, at the beginning of the race the race leaders sort of just pulled away with the rain with the rain tires at that point eventually the the session became more and more dry but at that point the rain tires had already created such a lead for him that even my competitor trent malko could not keep up with him in second place I mean, I did my best. I finished sixth place and I at least was able to finish the race, which is nice and get a good amount of experience just racing in the rain. It was essentially just running the dry line. I think that it's more of a one lane track in terms of rain racing in the first place. But yeah, so it's race two. Qualifying two for the F1000 was a much better. We were able to get the car really dialed in. Arrive Drive Motorsports, Liam and Dustin were just amazing and taking my feedback and converting it into like positive setup changes. And I was just flying and qualifying two for the F1000. I just continually pushed the limits every single lap. I got faster and faster. And unless when, if there was like lap traffic or something, but 
ended up qualifying with like 36 with the one minute 36.4 and alex Mayer, former series champion four time series champion ended up qualifying with the one minute 36.8 so i was four tenths faster than him and i was on pole position which was the first time i've ever out qualified the entire field of competitors which was pretty awesome and i was pretty happy about that i have that video up on my youtube channel if you want to watch that qualifying session and how i sort of progressed in my speed really challenged the braking zones really learned a lot in terms of how the f1000 car needs to be driven and how that track needs to be driven a lot of great help from trent walco on my global racing team um teammate and competitor he was going over data with me really helping me in terms of just the line and how the car how the track needed to be driven and I just had to go ahead and apply that and adapt to it with the F1000 car. So awesome qualifying, qualified on pole, and then started the race on pole. But quickly, at the beginning of the race, fell back to second. Alex had a really good start. I'm still working on my starts. I don't really start on pole position very often. And hopefully I can change that for the near future and just for the future in general. But and I think I can. So fell back, fell back to second place pretty much right off the rip and really tried hard to get as comfortable with the car as possible me sort of trying to fend off the my competitors behind me prematurely before i was really comfortable and capable of doing so ended up getting me in the grass on the exit of turn three before like trying to defend against nico vardis for a third place pass i think shane had already passed me by the end of lap one so Basically, that little grass lawn mowing with my two tires essentially fell me, made me fall back to fifth place. And at this point, I'm 13 laps down from Alex Mayer, who's now in first place. And really just trying to get comfortable with the car as fast as possible so I can then, because I knew I had the pace to be in first place, really, or at least challenge for the podium. So I just ran as hard as I could. I was making up 1.5 seconds on Alex per lap, one second, and just consistently closing that gap down. Had a few, few uh, couple nice passes on on Steve Hamilton and, and Tim, and I think Shane ended up dropping back. He was in second at the time, but he ended up dropping out due to an engine issue, unfortunately. But I had the pace to pass him, and I probably would have, but I ended up passing the guys that had passed me earlier in the race and now i was trying to chase down alex dropping my my best lap times as as just as fast as possible trying to close close on the gap and really challenge alex mayor for the win managed to make up that 13 second gap and and then i was essentially in the best battle the best racing i was basically doing my best racing battling alex Mayer, and it was really intense he didn't give me a single inch of room more than he had to and which i really appreciate he's a fierce competitor and a fierce racer and unfortunately i just couldn't make any of my passing attempts stick one go one was going into turn 17 just couldn't quite make that stick over break outbreak myself another one was going into turn seven where i'm trying to do like a little swap over and he got he got the better of me there just a lot of really and one in a turn one which is crazy going in there side by side just like i'm like right next to the inside grass and he just really squeezed me down but held gave me enough room to work with and i just couldn't quite execute under the braking zone and that's something i really i'm gonna take and learn for the future because if i had executed either of my passes properly i would have ended up with the race win but Eventually, I got a little bit of front wing damage from our close battle, and I just could not really make any of my moves stick. So, really close battling overall, but in the end, Alex Mayer won out. He had really worn out tires by the end of the race. I was battling, battling him really hard. He ended up with the race win. My The arrow wash that was happening when I was running behind him was something I'd never really experienced before in a road course and front wing damage just kept him kept me from challenging him on the final laps of the race but either way he's ended up finishing that race in p2 my second best finish well my tied for my best finish in that series so far the f1000 series former one being a second place finish at barber but 
really big improvements in the F1000 car. Like I've, I've learned the braking, I've become much more comfortable with the braking. And that was really the biggest thing for me. I think that's one of the biggest things in terms of speed and lap times for the F1000 cars. So awesome race, one of my best, some of my best racing ever in a car across all my racing so far. So happy that I'm, I'm able to say that in the first place. But we move on to F2000, that was a crazy race, awesome race. But F2000 qualifying two, we, it was all dry and I was really just trying to, I knew I had the pace for a top three qualifying and unfortunately I could only get as good as P4. I had a lot of issues, just really struggled, really frustrated during the course of the race, the most frustra frustrated I've ever been in a race car. I was having throttle issues, I was coming off the throttle from full throttle into going into the, some of the high speed S's and I just could not lift off of the throttle like I wanted to. My foot was getting stuck on the chassis of the car so we had to fix that issue but man was that frustrating and I also just wasn't, I was making minor mistakes with my shifting, with my downshifts. That was an issue I was coming across the entirety of the race weekend is how sensitive and finicky the, the shifting is for the F2000 car. I think so. I'm fortunate that I had to struggle with that issue, but it's just an adaptability thing, learning the car, learning how it needs to be driven. And yeah, so ended up only qualifying P4, got really frustrated at the end, the most frustrated I've ever been in a race car and raged a little bit when I got out of the car as well. Slammed my fist on the right left tire, the rear left tire because I was so mad. But I mean, partly car, partly me, but we got that car part figured out. And unfortunately, in race two for the F2000, I did not quite get the me part figured out, the one that the problem that really matters, because I ended up having a downshifting issue into turn 17, where unfortunately, I uh, was trying to get the car back into gear. You're downshifting all the way down the first gear. Try to get the car back into gear and got the, the rear spun out on me and all the competitors passed me. I had started P4. I was in a pretty good position to get P3. I think I was in P3 at the time, but yeah, right off the start. But yeah, that was lap one and I got passed by everyone and I was in last place at that point, 12th place, I think. And I just, after that stupid mistake, just not really being disciplined with my downshifting and with the car in general, how I need to handle it, I fell back all the way had to make up a ton of ground to even make it back to seventh place, which is where I finished in that race, made up a lot of ground, passed guys really confidently, aggressively, and that's something I can at least take solace in, be proud of. But yeah, really struggled with just getting comfortable with the F2000 car over the course of the weekend. But I mean, we had a lot of issues, mechanical and otherwise, but the guys did a great job in terms of getting all those issues turned around and getting everything fixed. So I actually had a, I had a good race car underneath me for race two in the F2000 series, but unfortunately couldn't quite execute on the driver's end of things. And that was unfortunate, but you live and you learn. And I've learned that how I need to drive the F2000 car. So basically, Hap, like, that's basically the highs and lows, the, 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 down, the down low, the debrief, the rundown of the F1000 and F2000 races and really just sort of satisfied that I was able to compete in the F1000 at the level that it did. I mean, it's my third third race weekend in the F1000 and I just didn't, I didn't quite expect to make the sorts of improvements that I did in the F1000 as quickly as I did, but I'm happy with my progress in the F1000, Arrive Drive Motorsports, Dustin and Liam, they they did an amazing job in getting the car prepped and ready, and I can't thank them enough for their support throughout these, these race weekends and just getting me developed and all that. So, and got to thank the F2000 Guys Global Racing Team, it's my first race weekend with them, essentially a test weekend, just trying to get the car figured out, all the kinks in the driver and the car all worked out, and hopefully for the next race weekend at um, Road America. We will have all those worked out, figured out, and we will have become much better. I'll have become much more comfortable. I'll be much more ready to get those podium finishes, going for that quadruple podium next uh, FRP race weekend out of Road America. 
pretty confident in the F1000 car now. Contesting Alex Mayer for for wins is really big, and just getting all that racing experience is something that's really that that's the goal. So F2000 had some troubles, but ended up learning a lot and. Yeah, can't thank Trent Walco and uh, Demetrios enough for just all their support and help and my engineer, Doug. But yeah, so got to thank Bird Racing, Signing Day Sports, Skip Barber Racing Series, I hope Hope Kippers International, um, America's Best Value Wins, Speed Sport, FMX, Kipsu, all you guys, thanks for supporting me and Bird Racing. So check out the merch, guys. It's really, really awesome merch. I love this shirt and I'm going to be wearing it pretty much all the time and all the other shirts and the hats. But yeah, without further ado, just thanks for tuning in guys for the race recap, watching the video, and I will talk to you guys next time. See you boys.